Hello, good evening, good morning, afternoon. Uh, this is your host, Peter. Uh, today, um, if you are new to this channel, please, uh, there's a button right there, a subscribe button and the bell. Uh, please consider to subscribe. Today, I wanted to talk about uh, the new interface of selectors, the Omin tracks. Uh, for the last uh, two weeks, I realized that they came with a new interface. It looks like it's an upgrade. And uh, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit and uh, see what is new. And uh, uh, if the, the upgrade is gonna help us or it's having some issues. And uh, when I was using the last uh, uh, few days, I just realized that it has some few glitches and I did report this to the customer service um, uh, support. I wrote them an email and uh, told them what was the problem. And um, I'm gonna go over today and uh, show you on how to search the loads for those ones who are new in the, in the field, especially the new entrants and if you are planning to go and get selectors uh, this is an opportunity to use this video to uh, go over and see if it is something you need or not i don't work for them but uh, it's one of i'm one of their clients i use the this load board and uh, to uh, search loads for my company drivers and uh, the new interface, which we'll go over shortly, uh, we'll uh, try to find out if there are some new things which have come on the board, and uh, if so, how to, you know, to use those resources in searching the loads. Uh, so please uh, stay with me from the start to the end of this video. And if you find it helpful, you are free to share it with you, your fellow friends. So come on, uh, let's jump into it right away and see how this new interface works. Welcome. All right, uh, this is the screen where you log in and um, uh, to use your corporate ID and uh, user password so you have to log in in layers I usually log in with um, two layers and after that this so once you are in this clean um, you can see the other one used to be yellowish the background and now it's changed to this side is blue you select as omin trucks if you there's, there's different tabs over here this is the home users so if you are home here it's you are in your home in home screen but the users you have things to do here uh, for example if you want to see the user profile user defaults change password email alliance and you know log out of this uh, application or load board and then you have the customers customer list you have the fleets here that's where you have the drivers and you do have the trailers the vehicles other carriers import availability resources search alliance capacity pedometer history server and this is where you find information for the company for federal motor carrier safety administrations the fleet management logs fleet mapping and asset maintenance then this is the orders where it takes you to the load board to manage the posted orders the bid board, 
TLL TZ lens and postal cords finder, zip cord finder and the US time zones. The dispatch, uh, if you want to find the units which are close to the ground where you are, your zip cord, you use this tab here. Closes the air units and roads brokered to me. This is where, this is the tab where you go. The reports, these are the general reports, favorite reports, reports required for documents, requests for documents. This is the selectors, EDI requests, uh, the service, sorry, the service requests and selectors change log. Alliance, if you want to email, I did a video about if you have a problem, you want to email the Alliance users, you go here. And these are the other things you can use. Uh, you will have to click on each and it will tell you documentation, other, select the stuff. These are the cookies and the, these are the downloads. So most of you, you go to the orders and do the managed When you do that, it's loads. Draw a slide here, and uh, you go right into the search criteria. I did a video about this, and it's still posted. If you wanna go back and check it out, and if you want, you wanna go to a particular state here. This is Alabama. You choose Alabama. And then go here, select the any state. And here, if you want to search in mobile, if you want to be in mobile Alabama, you do this and search, let's say 100 radius. And uh, the dates are right here. So you change the dates if. Uh, today is the 16th and you want to search for two days let's say or three days to click there and do a search right now you have nothing because it's weekend so what you do if you don't if you you want to continue to search in a, a wide range you add this one to let's say 250. So you click search and it's still nothing because it's weekend. So if we put 500, let's see, 500 radius, it might pull up something. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let me do. 1,000 radius for the purpose of this demonstration. There you go. So it pulls up some loads. You can do that very far, but uh, this is for demonstration purposes. So if you try to search like a Monday, uh, this coming Monday, uh, most brokers, it's open until uh, unless it is a holiday. You will just get, uh, you know, loads. But basically, this is how you search the loads. And uh, if you like a load here, um, you just go, you let's say, Lancaster, Dallas, to Louisiana. Then you want a cargo van right here. And it's one piece, uh, 30 pounds, 442 miles. If you are happy with this and you know they need somebody as soon as possible, what you do here, you go and click on the Lancaster. You click over there. And this is the email address where you email the broker or it's being posted by this broker here. The name is Sherry. And this is a phone number to call. So what I usually do, I just uh, uh, copy. And after I copy, 
I go back to my email. All right, and write them an email right here. Paste it. And uh, go back here and tell them about this load. I usually copy the whole thing so they know which load is that. Copy. Go back to my email. And paste. After I paste it, I go up here and write them an email. I can say, of oh, 500. Hundred or uh, in and say I have a cargo van Have a cargo van. I will tell them the dimensions: one twenty times fifty-five times seventy. And I will say the unit is twenty miles out. Out. And then I, if I'm done with this, I'll just send this email to this guy. Press send. This is for demonstration. It's not for real. And send it. And then after a few minutes, uh, this guy will reply to me. If he likes my bid. And if he doesn't, it might take long. I will turn around around 10-15 minutes and ask him if it is there so I can forget about it if it's not there so I can do another bit but if he tells me to wait I'll wait and see if he gets it from his customer so basically that's what I usually do and uh, go back if I had another driver somewhere and then if I don't get it I will try another you know all these brokers here and then if you want to check the dimensions before you bid, you just go right here and click on the order number. This one will take you to the other screen where you check the dimensions. For this one, they didn't specify, they only specified the weight, which is 5,000. So what I usually do, I write an email and tell them what I have and they will make a determination if they want to use my unity or not so basically that's what I do but um, if you have any questions let me know uh, give me comments if uh, you need me to do a topic but basically this is what um, this um, new interface is all about All right. I hope you have a good day.